Live at five, it's offer review, and I got to give a shout out here to uh, Brotherhood of the Storm, who made this nifty infographic right here, kind of outlining what's happening here in the next way. Today we've got Doc Ock. Congratulations if you're unlocking Doc Ock. We've also got a uh, Relic Hunt and the Nowhere Heist. And boy, I, I was so disappointed with the Nowhere Heist. I'm on the second to last uh, tier and getting just like a very small amount of dark promotion credits. I think you get 10 times 7, 70. Did not feel good. I'm sure Morgan Le Fay is going to need more than 70. Probably the, the cap on that is 5,000 that you can, you know, there's a cap on how many dark promos you can have at any given time. So I'm sure that the last tier of upgrading uh, Morgan Le Fay is probably going to cost 5,000 if I were to guess. Tomorrow, Avengers Tower. So... Yesterday, they screwed up. The blog post said it was the 7th, and then Cerebro put out a notice saying that, in fact, Avengers Tower is starting tomorrow. And then uh, we, we've got all of this other stuff right here, but I wanted to point out that Tuesday the 14th is going to be a Proxima Blitz, uh, where a lot of people were expecting a Wong Blitz. Now, a lot of people are saying, does this mean that there is no second Wong Blitz? No, they did not say that. In fact, uh, the, one of the, the blog posts from last week said... Uh, Wong Blix first run. So it's just the second run for Wong is not running this week. Actually, between Scourge and Tower, it, there's going to be a lot of time, you know, because we've got the, the Scourge event, which is going to be starting on Wednesday the 13th. So there you go. And then we've got, I guess that's the payday event. Anyways, a lot of stuff's going on this week. And we're just going to keep moving on. All right, so we got the message from Cerebro saying that they screwed up and that the tower mode is starting tomorrow. Uh, our friends in New Zealand and Australia send, uh, sent us a calendar here. Looks like there's some good characters starting on the second row. We got what Punk and Scarlet. And this is kind of interesting to me. They got Morbius in here twice, but no Dr. Voodoo. Uh, I don't know. This seems kind of like a wonky calendar that they've got some characters in here and then and then Morbius in there twice. But anyways, this should happen for me tonight at my account reset, which happens in the middle of the night, like midnight or one o'clock. I'm not really sure, actually. Wong Blitz secretly nerfed. Okay, so this is something interesting. So it, it, I wonder... If, so there's a couple things that happened. Um, they, they changed the reward payouts on blitz uh to look like this and this is has this uh this this tier in here that gives 35 shards and then the wong basically got rid of it and this is the worst and it was so they it used to be this way and then they updated it and then it got pulled back but you know what also that also happened this week with uh, uh the elite store they added uh they added two more boxes and then and then, then something happened this week that undid that, and they had to re-add it. And I'm wondering if the same thing happened here, where they they made a, like an improvement on the game, and it was there for a couple patches, and then somehow it got reverted back to the old method. Anyways, it's garbage. Fix your game. Uh, anyways, it's, this is the way that the Teenage Warhead Blitz was. Of course, uh, typically what they do on the first run, they'll do Mega Orbs, and then on the second run, they will do red stars but anyways not as good as it once was also this is a, a an excellent post and i strongly feel about this and, and this person is proposing two different things about making the 10x dark promotion promos permanent uh one thing that they're saying is maybe just always make 10x available even when we've got boosted drop rates or and i don't mind this right here it says at a minimum there should at least be always two red star orbs available to open one orb with boosted rates for the featured characters, one with boosted rates for dark promos. We get like zero information on one 10X. I mean, I, I sit here on Twitch and people are asking me constantly, when is 10X dark promos coming back? When is 10X dark promos coming back? And then, and then when we actually do get it, people are like, oh my God. I mean, we had a period of over a month where we had zero opportunities to open 10x i i scopely I, do you understand how important we think this is and what's the problem with uh, uh just giving us two orbs so we have an option of which one maybe toggle it on and off or something it just seems like unnecessarily frustrating and i don't see how they're making money by by 
turning it on, turning it off, turning on, turning it off. It just, just, just pissing people off. They're not getting anything for doing it that way. Anyways, let's move on. Let us buy teal raid orbs with raid credits. Boy, that would be really nice. Um, yeah, I have, I think the problem with this is I'm sitting on like 400,000 plus raid credits. And I'm sure there's somebody over there scopely that looks at people like me that hoard things and they probably deemed it like um, too many people have excess inventory on this and so they just don't do it. But yeah, this is a great idea. It would benefit me a lot if they did that. Then also, I just wanna bring this up. I have seen a, I saw two Reddit posts today complaining about this and I've seen at least five Reddit posts this week. This is a completely reasonable request. Core pop-up pur pop purchases need a confirmation off option there's nothing worse than the feeling you get if the pop-up showed up on your screen and you accidentally clicked on the 1000 cores for 70 t3s with no confirmation and poof a thousand cores are gone out of your account now my understanding is support has refunded that for other people but this is an unnecessary annoyance uh and it's extra work for people and customer support this is a completely reasonable request I feel like I'm going to talk about this every time I see a Reddit post and put it in an offer review because it's absurd. And then lastly, uh, remember when they turned on Raid Sim briefly in March 2021? It was nice. And uh, yeah, we've got a screenshot of it here. In fact, we even have uh, a Twitch clip for Reminex. And this was like two years ago. And so uh, what happened was for 10 minutes in game, the game had this mysterious kind of poorly designed it didn't look cosmetically nice raid sim feature and then they also had sim blitz thing and we all said wow the sim blitz thing is awesome and i think that kind of pushed uh for that coming to the game and you know this post is saying would it be nice we had the sim blitz now the interesting thing about this is a sim blitz so like if your team is not strong enough to auto it it fails and so like it, it basically what this sim blitz button did is like you go into battle and you hit auto and if you're able to win it, so that would not be very useful, let's say in Doom 2.3. I mean, the only team that I can think of off the top of my head that can really pull that off is uh, some of the Web Warrior nodes, right? Where you just put it on auto and you have to wait and then it just goes through it. But this would just automatically do it. Now, my, my personal take on this, my, my personal take on this, is this was coded onto the game. And I'm just guessing uh, for Scopely employees only because they didn't even want to play the game. They just had, you know, it was too taxing on the own employees there that they coded some sort of like cheat system for them to bypass. And, and I, I, I really think that was the whole point of it. So they don't play their game. A lot of the, a lot of the problems that we've had with the raids and the lack of understanding and the disconnect between us and them specifically come raids. This totally makes sense to me that this was coded for uh, the employees just because they don't want to play the game the way we do it. All right, let's get into offer review and uh, let's just toggle through the carousel right here. Um, some people have asked me about what I was talking about yesterday with the web store and iOS, and I don't think I'm going to get any information on that at all from Scopely. So, um, first things first offer here in carousel. It's also in game $5 for, um, death pool and Kestrel 30 shards. I think that is great. That is great. And then also we've got a $20, $14 offer for 75 uh, Daredevil, I don't think that's really great. And then we've got a costume offer for Electra. This will get you the Electra costume, the one with the mask and the katanas or whatever they're called, I don't even know, uh, for $15. So I think a lot of people will buy this just for the costume. I personally don't really care about the costumes that much. Some of the costumes I like for sure, and you know, if it's five bucks or something, but $15 is out of, uh, of my range or whatever. All right, so let's go to offer review. And there's an offer in here that I think is very interesting when it comes to Armory 16 orbs. And I haven't made up my mind I'm going to buy it or not. I'm not going to buy it right here tonight. Uh, but it's something I'm thinking about. Uh, exclusive offer right here. I, I just don't see the value of this. This is the High Priestess offer right here. And I believe these are Agatha orbs. And I value those at $3 a piece. And those right there are worth about a buck, buck and a half. That's worth a buck. And it just doesn't add up to $50. Uh, at all or 49 or forty dollars. So we're gonna move on. This right here, unyielding orb. This is for the 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 evil Doctor Strange or the heartless Doctor Strange event campaign. 
pretty happy with this uh, orb overall. Uh, it has Doctor Strange on the sides, and then the middle has like a 14% chance of Heartless Doctor Strange. Uh, if you're looking just for Heartless Doctor Strange, I believe these orbs average about 5.4 um, because, you know, you're getting two on the sides pretty much every time. Uh, but there's actually eight other characters that are quite useful in there. For me, I, I think this is a great orb for an event campaign, but I personally feel that spending $20 on cores and then just refreshing the 50s is a better value than doing this. I really like the refreshing the 50s. I don't know if the 100s are worth it at all, but the 50s seem like a good deal. We've got a Wong offer right here. And so uh, we've got right here, we've got two uh, Wong orbs. These are the ones that give minimum six, average about 9.3. They Yes, they can go up to 180, but that has a very small chance. And then we've got an Armory 14. Value those at $3 a piece. And so that doesn't quite have to $10. Now this is the offer in question right here. Um, these pieces contain the, the, what they call, and you can see right here, I guess the official name for it is 100 augmented, augmented means teal, gear tier 16 mini unique. So these are the pieces that uh, were, they, they look like the 14 uniques, but they are teal. And these are the pieces that basically are only found in three places in the game. They're, they're found inside this orb, which only has two per orb. They're found inside the war store. They're found inside the supply store. So basically people that finished Dark Dimension 5 early had to hit the refresh button, you know, on, on, on and just buy every single one of these uh, uniques if possible. And uh, I am four pieces away from having all my characters done and finishing Dark Dimension 5. I need four mutant pieces to finish up Phoenix. And this right here would give me a hundred total pieces randomly. And there's 10 total different types of pieces. So this would give me, uh, mathematically speaking, 10 of the pieces that I'm looking for. I only need four. Uh, I'm in the I'm in the, the middle node of Cosmic. I'm going to start the last node of Cosmic tomorrow. I might buy this. I, I'm going to see. I, I think what I'm going to do is wait for the tower rewards. Tower rewards start tomorrow. I'm going to take a look at that first and see if there's a way of getting Because I certainly don't want to sit for a month. And, and, you know, not, I could get Dormammu, you know, I'm four pieces away from basically running through the last three nodes of uh, Dark Dimension 5. Anyways, I don't think they've sold these pieces for cheaper. Is this a good deal? I don't know, but they've been super stingy where all the other teal pieces, you know, can be per, or you're inside of orbs or are farmable. You get them through your daily activities in June 2.3. But this is the, the, one of the main bottlenecks on the teal gear process is the mini uniques. And it's, it's kind of annoying to me though, that these, these orbs don't have, you know, all the other orbs in the game, most of the orbs of the game have three columns and this one only has two. It's kind of annoying. And then we've got some 14s and 15s to go along with it. Anyways, just wanted to talk about that offer. I, as far as I, I have not bought any of these teal offers, but I believe this is the best teal offer I've seen in the store. Let's move on. Again, this does not have any of the pieces that I'm referring to as the mini uniques. Those are pieces that are coming in orbs quite frequently or found in uh, relatively, e they're much easier to get, that is. And same thing there. And I just don't think these are great deals at all. These are pieces that uh, I personally have enough of uh, from just doing my Doom raids and things like that. All right. There's the same offer right there. Anniversary 2022. This is 30 Death Pool, 30 Kestrel. Both of these characters are... Marvel Strike Force, uh, Marvel Strike Force uniques, or they were created specifically for Marvel Strike Force by the Marvel Strike Force team. I actually would really like to see a Deathpool comic or something like that. I think that'd be really cool. I like the story line behind Deathpool. Still not really sure who Kestrel is or why Kestrel is, but anyways, there you go. Five bucks for 60 total shards. I think that's a fantastic deal. All right, I'm gonna skip over those two. We talked about that one already. Oh boy, that's super pricey. We got Lady Deathstrike right there, 50 character charge for 30 bucks. Uh, that's just uh, out of my price point. Uh, let's keep going. And same thing there for Silver Samurai. This is the electric costume right there, the modern. You can see here a little bit, well, she's kind of hidden back there. But anyways, and then right here, we've got Magic, 50 character shards for $25. X23, I guess if you're uh, super desperate, I guess uh, the Doc Ock event is going tonight. And if this helps you get Doc Ock, I can kind of understand that. Uh, but 50 character shards for 25 bucks. Uh, ISO 8 energy offer. This is a normal offer. 
Uh, not super thrilled about this. I value it at $7, and I think we are in the trash offer area. These are all garbage. Everything down here is not great. All right, let's just go down to the bottom, and I just want to rant about this. You know, I, where do they get these prices on T3s? 100 T3s for $20. I think one of the worst one that everybody complains about, because this is the one that right here that pops up right here. 1,000 cores for 70 T3s. Uh, if I accidentally click this right now, it would not give me a confirmation button. If it popped up on the screen and I was half asleep and tapped it, no confirmation button. And yeah, 100, and I've got 100,000 of those. There's really no reason for that other than just to piss people off. Uh, I think they could uh, uh, get rid of that for sure. Okay, we're in the free to play account and we're going to scroll through and take a look at the unique offers in here. And mostly what I'm looking for is offers that are $5 or 50 character shards on, if you're looking for characters that are older, let's say older than a year or something like that. Teenage Warhead's been out for a long time. 25 bucks for 50 character shards is outrageous. Same thing, Beast, 50 character shards for $10. Hmm. Um, if, if, if you're, if you're uh, in the Doom Raid and your mutant team is lacking Beast, I could see a case for this. $10 for 50 character shards for Beast. Uh, I, I would prefer $5 price. Again, same thing, $5 price, $5 would be better. And then we've got cable there for $10. Okay, so let's see if we've got anything here that I think is a steal, and then we'll wrap up offer review. I think that'll do it for today. And so I'm looking forward to starting tower tomorrow, and that'll do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye. My best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me I saw no shadow